Hello, I'm Artifacts of Mars, and this is the Snakes in the Grass update. It's also going to be an American Santa Nista update. Now, in Boston, we had a free speech rally. It had nothing to do with white supremacy or anything like that, right? Well, all whole country is aware of this. Drew 40,000 according to this article. Now, New York Times and Washington Compost are two of the biggest uh, Communist Party newsletters in the country. Two of the worst snakes in the grass, as far as I'm concerned. This is Was New York Times and then the Washington Compost. I'll just show you a frame from the video. Where the wandering American Sandinista communists are uh, protesting against free speech. Tens of thousands of demonstrators emboldened and unnerved by the eruption of fatal violence in Virginia last weekend surged into the nation's streets and parks on Saturday to denounce racism, white supremacy, and Nazism. No. That is bullshit. They're denouncing free speech because this was a free speech rally. Demonstrators were boisterous but broadly peaceful, even as tension and worry course of the protests from Boston Common and the nation's old most public park to Hot Springs, Arkansas, and to the bridges across Williamette River in Portland, Oregon. Other rallies played out in Atlanta. Dallas, Houston, Memphis, and New Orleans, among other cities. Demonstrators which drew 40,000 people in Boston alone, according to police estimates, came in one week after a 32-year-old woman died among amid clashes between white nationalists and counter-protesters in Charlottesville, Virginia. The unfold of this nation was again confronting questions about race, violence, and standing. Confederate symbols. You see, they don't uh, say anything about what the uh, protesters on the right were saying about maintaining free speech. They only give the perspective of the hard left. This is why I call them snakes in the grass. President Trump, who was faced on yielding and bipartisan criticism after seeing his blame on both sides of Charlottesville, we as Saturday they went up while the many protesters in Boston were speaking out against bigger train hate. Our country will soon come together as one. Our country has been divided for decades. Sometimes you need protests in order to heal and we will heal and be stronger than ever before. Alright, so Trump has his thing that he's saying. And he goes on and talks uh, about law enforcement, and there's a bunch of arrests, 33 of them. By and large, it was peaceful. Organizers of speech rally said they are appealing to libertarians, conservatives, traditionalists, and classical liberals. Trump's supporters or anyone else who enjoys their right to free speech. Alright, so they did uh, give a perspective. They've been corrected. All of us here, in many ways, are true patriots because, in spite of that noise out there, we're here to stand up for something very fundamental, which is called free speech. Unpronounceable and not for a who is running the white shot Republican Senate campaign, told the rally owners during the video posted on YouTube. But thousands of others, meaning the American Sandinista communists, hearing that the free speech event would be a platform for neocons, Nazis, and white nationalists joined the robust counter protest. They're counter protesting, they're protesting against freedom of speech, is what they're doing. By definition, because this was a free speech round. The city has a history of fighting back against oppression, whether it's 
dumping tea in the harbor, or a bunch of dudes standing bananas screaming at neo-Nazis. So the 21-year-old protester identified himself only as Frosty and wore American flag to obscure much of his face. How dare this dirtbag wrap himself with an American flag? You want proof that he's a socialist, communist? Right here you go. These are communists. These are the American Santanista communists. They are traitors to their country. I, I, I just can't deal. Alright, I'm going to uh, show you the uh, Washington Compost video frame. More American Sandinista communists. They come in all colors. They hate freedom. They hate representative government. They hate America. This is the hate America crowd. And here's the faces of the hate America, anti-America, anti-freedom, communism-loving crowd. Not taking any of it back, so we'll even bother. That's how I see them. I'm Artifacts of Mars. And thank you for watching. Remember that communists are in your midst.